Welcome, Dr. Mandel here. I'm gonna show you a technique where you're gonna be able to get your abs looking beautiful once again. To give you that flat stomach, and I'm gonna teach you how. So instead of you doing it down there, you're gonna do it sitting in the chair, which makes it so much easier for your back. Remember that the abs are small muscles and we are going to put it through a motion of about 15 degrees. What's exciting is that we're gonna work our rectus abdominis, our internal and external obliques, as well as the lower abdominal region. We're going to work all those muscles sitting in a chair using a large towel. This is going to allow our body to have resistance, but we're still going to put some range of motion into those abs. This is going to give you one of the best workouts you've ever had. Let's take the towel and wrap it around the back of the chair and we'll bring it up to the upper part of the chair. If you are a much bigger person, you'll need a bigger towel. If you're smaller, uh, a smaller one will do. But ideally, we want to be able to wrap the towel around our nipple level, around our chest. And our buttocks should be all the way in the back of the chair. And we'll just fasten it like this. You can grab it with a hand, lock it in like this, however you like. Now when we do our abs, very important, always exhale when we go forward. Inhale when we come back. In other words, when we contract the muscle, we want to blow the air out. And when we come back to our normal starting position, we want to breathe in. So are you ready? Because I am. Let's go. Let's lock ourselves in in the chest. Give yourself a little bit of slack because we're going to go a little bit forward. So once we lock it in, remember, as we push forward, as we contract the muscle, we're always going to breathe out. As we come back, we're going to breathe in. So this is how it should be. If I breathe in now, I'd breathe out when I push forward. Hold it there for about two seconds. and You'll breathe in again, coming back. Okay, I'm not going to breathe for you. I just want you to understand that's the proper way to do it. We're going to do 12 repetitions going forward and we're going to hold two seconds. Remember, we're going to go about 10, 15 degrees forward. We'll feel those abs really contract and we'll do 12 repetitions going forward. Let's go. One. Two. You'll feel those abs really contract nice and slow. Three. Hold it there. Two seconds at the end. Four. Just feel those abs contract. Beautiful. Five. Good. Six. Seven. As we contract, squeeze those abs, come back to normal. Eight. Squeeze. Four more. Come on. Nine. You can really feel them contract, really concentrate in those abs. Pause for two seconds at the end. 11, one more, come on, 12, beautiful. Now we're going to lock ourselves in the same way. We're going to work more of our external and internal obliques. We're going to bring our knees to one side of the chair, just like this. And we're going to go again, straight forward. You're going to feel the opposite side that you brought your knees to. So by bringing our knees to the right, we're going to feel our left intercostal, left rectus abdominis, internal external obliques. You're going to feel all those muscles really contract. Let's go again. One, two, good, three. Concentrate, work on that whole left side now. Four, five, just pause a second or two at the end. Six, good, seven, you really be feeling it now. Come on. Eight. Keep those knees all the way to the right. Nine. Ten. Some of you should be working up a sweat because I am. Eleven. Come on. Good. Let's bring our knees to the other side. We're going to go straight forward again. Lock yourself in. You're doing great. Remember, try to breathe out as you're pushing out and breathe in as you come back. Okay, straight forward, knees all the way to the left. 
where we're gonna work the right side of her abs, the intercostal muscles, as well as the internal and external obliques on the right side now. Are you ready? Let's go. Good. Two. Beautiful. Three. Good. Four. Five. It's nice. Nice burn. Six. Concentrate on those muscles. Seven. Pause a second or two at the end. Eight. Beautiful. Come on. Nine. It's burning. Let's go. Come on. Ten. Two more. Doing great. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. Great job. Now the final finale. We're going to bring our body forward as we did in the first exercise, but we're going to alternate our knees as they come up. So when we go forward, this is what it's gonna look like, okay? And we're gonna do 10 on both sides. We'll do a total of 20. This is really good. So when you go forward and bring your knee up, just pause about a second at the end and then go back down, okay? Try to breathe out when we contract the muscle. So when we go forward like this, it should be Just to give you an idea, remember, whenever we contract the muscle, we want to breathe out. Very important, okay? Lock yourself in place. Here we go. One, two, just really focus. Three, on those muscles, you'll feel it contract under your hand. Four, five, come on, six, seven. You should really feel those muscles contract. Eight, it's a great exercise. Nine, 10, I'm burning in there. 11, good, come on. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, wow. 17, 18, beautiful. Two more, one, 20, great job. You should be proud of yourself. Now, if you want to get those abs to look nice and hard, to get your abs nice and flat, to start losing and burning that fat, you must be aware of what you do in the kitchen. You need to cut those sugars down. Sugars takes that excessive water, that glycogen, and swells you. Cut back on the salt, that extra bodily fluids that you're walking around with in your gut. Get a little bit of aerobic exercise, walking, riding a bike. There's no such thing as spot reduction, but when you start building muscle, your metabolic rate goes up and your body will start burning more fat. Building muscle is so important, that's what's gonna allow your metabolism to start burning while you're sleeping. Make sure you're getting a good night's sleep and make sure you're limiting that stress because stresses will cause increased cortisol levels and that can start putting on more visceral fat. So please start doing this exercise daily. You will see big changes within a few weeks. Share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below because I know there'll be many. And most important, Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.